Okay, let's go over how to build a minecart track in Minecraft. Tracks and carts are a huge element of the game Minecraft. So let's get started by going over some of the recipes you'll use to make a minecart track. You're going to need a whole bunch of wood in the form of sticks and an absolute ton of iron ingots. So hopefully you've been doing some mining. Place your iron ingots in the following pattern and then a stick right in the middle. And for every recipe, it affords you 16 rails. Pull those down and let's build a mine cart. Place your ingots like so. And you have a mine cart. Once you've made enough rails, you can get started building a mine cart track. But first, it's important to understand a couple of the rules, a couple of the laws of how mine cart tracks work in Minecraft. To illustrate that, I've built some example intersections up here. So I'll place some tracks like so. And when I place a cart track here, it automatically connects as a ramp. Now when I place an intersection in the middle here, you'll see it connects from south to west. I know this is southwest because I just woke up, and if you look in the sky, you can see the sun rising in the east. That's the east, that's the south, and west, southwest. If I want these tracks to connect in a different way, I'll just break this track and the ones next to it. Now, it connects from south to east. Also, from north to south, I can get them to connect by breaking that rail and replacing this track. Now it's heading from south to north. So let's head back to the default southwest orientation and show how this intersection works. I'll place a cart right here, give it a push, and naturally it heads from west to south. Now if I come from the opposite direction though, from east, you'll see the cart doesn't actually head south. Instead, it continues straight. It turns slightly here, but its momentum carries it west. You can use this trick to make one-way intersections. So carts coming from the west head south, but carts coming from the east will go straight. Also, if I push this cart from the north, it does the same thing. Turn slightly, but continue straight towards the south. So let's break this intersection and replace it heading straight. Now this type of intersection is interesting because carts coming from the side will always turn south, like so. Now before, carts coming from the east continued straight towards the west, but now because of this intersection, south. Alternately from the south, they'll go straight to the north, and vice versa, from the north straight to south. So carts at this intersection will always default to heading south. But say you want to make an intersection where your carts head north for whatever reason. You can override this southwest rule by building your intersection on an incline, like so. So no matter what direction my carts come from, they're going to intersect at this incline that heads north, and they're going to turn in that direction. Turn north. And from the west, turn north. And alternately coming from the south, it will continue straight as well. So that's a good way to override this default turn to the south. Okay, so once you've got a good solid grasp of how intersections work in Minecraft, you can actually start building powered rails and make really large minecart tracks. Let's do that. The recipe for powered rails are a lot like normal rails, but instead of iron, you use gold. Place them like so. Stick in the middle again, but this time redstone. Redstone is the element in Minecraft that gives things power. Place it on the bottom and you get six powered rails for every recipe, not 16. So you're gonna need a lot of gold.
Right off the bat, you're going to want to build a booster, and that will get your minecart up to speed. Now the highest speed you can go in Minecraft is eight blocks per second, or eight meters per second. To get to that speed, I'm going to place three powered rails in a row. Now, powered rails default to the off position. You need to turn them on by using a redstone torch. But when they're off like this, they actually slow your minecart down. They will act as brakes. I don't want that for my booster, so I'm going to turn them on with a redstone torch. A redstone torch is made like a regular torch. It's a stick on the bottom, but instead of coal on top, it's redstone. I need to place this next to my powered rails, so I'll put a block down next to it, and then a torch on top of that block. And there you go, you can see them light up because they are actually now on. If I place a card on top and give it a slight push, indeed you can see there's plenty of power. I like to build a little startup ramp of regular rails right before my booster. So I can just place my cart right up here, give it a push and right click to get in, and I'm off. The ideal ratio of regular rails to powered rails is 37 to one, meaning that for every 37 regular rails you place down, you place a powered rail. This ratio keeps your minecart traveling at eight blocks per second, the highest speed you can go in Minecraft. So I'm gonna place one, two, three, four, five, four, 35, 36, 37. So now I need to place a powered rail and a torch to turn it on. A quicker way to do this, instead of counting one to 37, is just to make sure you actually have 37 rails in your quick bar. I do that by right-clicking on my rails to split them in half, drag those 32 down, pick up those 32, and then right-click one at a time to add rails until there's 37 exactly. That way, I can just place them without counting, and I know that as soon as I run out, I'm ready for a powered rail. Place a powered rail and a redstone torch. Perfect. And once you've placed enough rails, you can go for a ride. My booster has pushed me up to speed, and then I'm hitting a powered rail for every 37 rails. This elevation here will slow me down, but I've got a rail right next to it to keep me going. If I don't have enough gold, I can actually use fewer powered rails. If I put a powered rail every 40 or 45 normal rails, I'll still get where I'm going. I'll just get there more slowly. If I place more powered rails than one every 37, it's just a waste of resources because I won't go any faster than eight meters per second. But there you go. That's how you can build a powered minecart track in Minecraft and get where you're going faster.